and you can get to Lewis from Euston train station or Abbey Street Dublin city centre to Connolly train station. Also, you can get a dart train to and from Connolly station underground. And the ticket price for standard adult single costs 15.99 but our journey today is first class and at one way it costs 31 euro 99 cent as you can see there's a good selection of restaurants and shops here in Conley station Ticket machines are available in the station concourse for new tickets and online paper ticket collection. Cash and card is also accepted. Stops along the journey are displayed on the platform board as you will see here, but let us use our map as guidance to show you. Our stops along the way on today's journey from Dublin Connolly Station are Drogheda, Dundalk, Newry, Portadown and finally Belfast Lanyon Place. The journey takes around 2 hours and 15 minutes. We now approach the Enterprise Platform 2 Lounge with toilets and there is also vending machines where you can, drinks and snacks can be purchased. Let's have a look at our train for today, which is a class 201 diesel locomotive with a 3,200 horsepower engine. Speed reached today are 142 kilometers per hour, or that's 86 miles per hour. This is standard class, the seats are not as comfortable and the leg room is not as grand as first class as you will see. Toilets here look clean enough. Now a top tip here for standard class, the two person seat offers the best leg room in this class. The chairs have a cushion padding with a bit of a headrest on the back. A trolley service is available again in standard class as COVID restrictions have now ended. Now let's take our seats in first class. We are straight away greeted with leather upholster seating with a more shaped headrest and more leg room as you can see. Power sockets are provided at each window seat. And look at all those green lights which means available seats for the journey and red light means book seats. Less cramped I must say than standard class. And here at the entrance of the carriage we have large luggage storage also there's storage for smaller bags overhead. 
There is a seat recline feature on these seats with extra lumbar spine support also. A oak table, very posh. And look at all that extra space. As you can see this by all the space at the one person seat and across the way, the carriages also are in a four and one seat configuration. There is a next stop display above each carriage doorway. There is now a phone scannable menu in standard and first class and in addition we will be provided with a hardback menu in first class as a full meal service option is available for first class passengers. And we leave Dublin Connolly bang on time at 1400 hours and the distance between the two major city stations are 180 kilometers or 112 miles. The next stop is Drogheda. We now cross the Royal Canal which is 145 kilometers in length and it links the River Liffey with the River Shannon in Longford. We now pass through Clontarf. A bit of sea fog seems to have set in on the Rogers Town and Malahide Estuary, but that won't affect our views. Wait till you see what's in store. We now approach Balbriggan Harbour. We now get spectacular views across the Irish Sea. Here we see Irish Rail Class 2200 and you can see my other Irish Journey videos on board these. And here as we enter MacBride Station in Drogheda we see the Irish Rail commuter train the 2900. And here comes the tight curve as we approach the beautiful Boyne Valley Viaduct. We now cross the Boyne Viaduct, a 30 meter high railway bridge that crosses the River Boyne in Drogheda.
now approach Dundalk Railway Station, also known as the Border Town because of its close proximity to the border of Northern Ireland. Castletown River here in Dundalk. And here we have our food and drink menu for today, which is dropped by our table by the Irish Rail staff. You can either pay in euros or sterling with cash or card, or your own currency with exchange rate price, with card payment accepted. We went for the prime local beef burger with cheese and bacon with fries but more like potato cubes and let me tell you it was certainly worth the price of 16 euro. Today we reach a max speed of 142 kilometers an hour and an average speed of 74 kilometers per hour. We now approach the town of Newry. We now cross the Craig Moore Viaduct. Let's walk through Belfast Lanyon Place and see where rail passengers can get a free bus with a valid rail ticket to Belfast City Centre. As you can see these trains are pet friendly and rail staff don't seem to mind timid dogs on board. I think she should have used the lift to transport the dog to upper level though. There's a selection of eateries, shops and vending machines here at Belfast Lanyon Place.
There is also a Starbucks just inside the entrance of the station, or the exit in our case. You take a right towards the bus stop as you leave the station exit. And if we walk two minutes and our bus stop is here for the free city centre bus. Here we have Belfast City Hall in the heart of Belfast City Centre. We can see a statue of Queen Victoria at the front of the building. The new City Hall was designed by Alfred Brumwell and constructed in Portland Stone. It cost £369,000 to build which is equivalent to £128 million today. And after all that now it's time for my yoga class here in the Belfast City Park Hall.